Hello you guys and welcome back to another video here on the Raising Wellness channel. My name is Shelby and in today's video we are going to be covering a really special topic. And this topic is for those of you who have been working with the Law of Attraction or have been setting goals but just aren't finding that they're coming to fruition in your life and it's causing possibly some self-doubt, some negativity to come into your life. And we're going to be discussing this one key thing to truly come into manifesting your goals and dreams into your reality. And if you're new to manifesting, what manifesting means is envisioning something, feeling it, and then taking action towards creating it into your life. But there's a really key and essential component called letting go that is going to help you more fully manifest your goals and dreams into your life. And that's what we're going to be covering today in this video. So let's get started. By introducing this key component of letting go, it's going to help you more easily manifest what you want in your life. And it does this because it helps to relieve your body of any opposing vibrations that aren't in alignment with what it is that you're trying to manifest in your life. And I know that sounds like a lot of really big words, but essentially what you're trying to do is trying to rid yourself of any of the toxic negative beliefs, limits, thoughts that are keeping you from aligning and bringing into your life what it is you want to manifest. So I have my notes here because I always have so much good information to tell you guys so that's why I'm looking down here. Um, and so it's very easy to find ourselves in this state of feeling lack or feeling desperate when we're trying to manifest something into our life, especially when you're trying to manifest possibly more money or a trip or um, a relationship. It's easy to get into that space of feeling desperate and feeling like you need it in your life. So this process of letting go will help to rid you of that opposing vibration because when you're trying to manifest something you don't want to be putting out into the universe uh, a feeling of I need this I need this I need this I'm lacking this I'm lacking this because it's going to manifest as you are lacking that thing rather than manifesting as having it in your life and being it so the first part of letting go is to recognize when to let go. And this was really hard for me at first. I had to do a lot of research, I had to do a lot of experimentation with myself and become clear. And what it is to recognize when you are in that space is usually when you're feeling stressed, overwhelmed, weighted down by the world, unmotivated, you just wanna stay in your bed and stay there and sleep and you don't, and you feel just unclear, overwhelmed, and misaligned. And that right there is your sign to surrender and let go. Because when you're in that state, when you feel confused and overwhelmed, then you aren't in a state or in a calm, centered place to be able to make correct judgments that will align you with what you're trying to manifest. So it's gonna, by being in that stressful place, it's going to perpetuate that stressful feeling rather than to get you into a space that's more aligned with your goals, a calm, stress-free center, which is really essential to recognizing and centering yourself on that belief and vision that you want to create in your life. I hope that makes sense. If not, put in the comments below and I'll clarify for you guys. This is a heavy topic and I'm trying my best to bring it down into some more latent terms so that it's not so frou-frou all up in the air because I know I felt that way when I first came into this world of manifesting and energy and all that kind of stuff. So I'm here to help you. If you need help, drop it in the comments below. So this 
letting go should be an essential component of your manifestation ritual. And I'm hoping that you guys already have a manifestation ritual. If not, give this a thumbs up so that I know to help you guys by making a video about a manifestation ritual. I would love to do that, so give this a thumbs up if you would like that video. So this process is going to help you focus solely on the positive things that you want to bring into your life. The situations, the experience, the relationships, the people, any of that kind of stuff. And it's going to help you to get rid and pull out any of the negative things that are stopping you from bringing this into your life. So you need to put up your blinders and from your own mind, from others, and focus like whatever negativity people are bringing into you. Like for me, I really want to move to Hawaii and every time I bring it up, people are like, oh, it's so expensive to live there. Blinder. Put it up. Focus solely on what it is that you want to create in your life because if you have the belief and the determination, it will happen in your life. You just have to focus on the positive attributes of whatever it is you're trying to bring into your life. Whatever your goal is, whatever your vision is, whatever it is you're trying to manifest, you were specifically given that thought to bring it into this reality. No one else had that thought, you did. I was talking to a girl the other day and she took some pictures for me and she was like, oh yeah, I used to want to be like a photographer, a photographer for National Geographic, just like every kid does. And I was like, I didn't have that dream. That's your dream, that's your vision. And it really got me thinking how like every single one of us has a specific thought, has a specific idea, vision, goal that we want to manifest and it was given to us, placed to us in our brains so that we could bring it into this reality. So it's really important to keep your blinders up and to focus solely on those positive attributes that you want to bring into your life. And I did this letting go the other day actually and I want to give you guys an example so you can see that this is a real thing that I use that other people use and I was laying in my bed thinking about uh, trips, thinking about travel for the holidays and to also go to Hawaii to run my mindfulness retreat and I'll be giving you guys more information about that shortly so don't you worry. If you have questions drop them down below. But I was thinking about how I'm going to get there, how I'm going to get the money for it, uh, trying to figure out times and planes and flights and trying to crunch it all into this one time and I was so overwhelmed and just sitting in my bed thinking and visualizing situations that hadn't even happened yet and it was bringing so much of that dense, heavy, stressful, overwhelmed energy in and that's when I knew it's time to let this go and surrender it and just to surrender it up to the universe, to Jesus, to God, Buddha, whatever you think is the universe and whatever it is that is the light and the all-knowing energy that you think of. Just send it up with a prayer, say, thank you for giving me this thought, I am being overwhelmed by it right now and I and know that by sending this up to you and getting it away from me right now is the best thing that I can possibly do to realign and recenter and to come back to it from a place of calm, connectedness with myself and with my vision and goal. So do you see how getting rid of it for just a moment, sending it up, allows you to get back into that calm center rather than to keep working from this anxious, energy, overwhelmed place because that's not going to perpetuate what you want to create in the world. It's going to perpetuate more of that feeling and you don't want to feel that way. So by releasing it, it allows you to get back to that calm, centered place to fully make decisions that are aligned with what you were trying to manifest. And I really want to end this video in a meditation for you guys that I personally use when I am feeling overwhelmed, when I feel a little bit stressed out, that helps me to remember to let go and to get back into this calm, peaceful state. So 
If you don't want to be a part of the meditation, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys being here. Share this video with anyone you feel who needs it, who is struggling, who feels overwhelmed and stressed. It is so essential to their path and to their journey to remember to let go so they can get back to that calm center. But if you would like to join us on the meditation, I'm going to start it in five, four, three, two, one.